Hello everyone, today we have a 2006 Honda CRV. We are going to try to uh, update uh, the engine computer on this car, or if there's any other update on the um, uh, on the car, we will try to do a software update on this vehicle. So you have to have the Honda um, IHTA software. Just click on this, there you go. I'm gonna be using a um, Hotel Maxi Flash VCMI, this one right here. It works pretty good with Hondas. Press OK. Let the system start. All right, at this section, basically, guys, just to give you guys a little information, if you want to just basically diagnose the vehicle, you just go here. But if you want to do a programming, you go here J2534 rewrite. In here, you don't have to put anything they're asking you to service bulletins and fix the, to see if the problem really fixes the problem. Now it's gonna actually, um, you can just hit start in here too. Okay, and then, um, all right. Okay, basically to connect the PC to the pass-through device, which I did, or J2534. Ignition switch is on, and um, hit next button. You just heard the beep that just connected to my J box. And in a moment, it's gonna start scanning the vehicle to see um, if there's any modules in the vehicle that needs to be updated. Yes, definitely we have a, um, the engine computer needs to be updated. Basically from what I see from here, um, engine computer and the uh, transmission computer actually uh, are integrated into one module, which is your engine computer, okay? And while, before we start programming, let us just keep on, it's gonna keep on right now, keep looking for the files, if there's any files available for the vehicle. It is not, the car is up to date completely, except the engine and transmission computer. Like I said, they are integrated into the one module. And um, before start programming, you must have a um, battery maintainer hooked up to the car. Like right over there, okay? You'll have to make sure that the battery is maintained. And um, because if the fan comes on or something starts working on the wake hole, what's gonna happen is it's gonna drain all of your battery and you're gonna have a problem. It will stop the programming and whatever the whatever the computer that you're programming, you most likely have to change it, get another one and program it to the car. Select next. Okay, so these are um, current ID numbers, I mean, uh, calibration numbers and the new uh, calibration numbers. Just hit yes. Okay, you see, up that description basically has this codes p1009 p0128 i'm not sure if this car has this codes but um uh, i was just told by the owner um he just thought it was cool or something he just wanted to update the software i said fine no problem because he said he was some, having some intimate problems which i'm not sure exactly what it is okay okay so it's gonna start i'm just gonna hit enter and it's gonna start programming right now at this moment guys do not turn on anything in the vehicle. Do not touch any buttons off the vehicle. Let it just do the programming. And then once it's 100%, it will ask us to um, turn the ignition off and turn it back on, and the programming will be completed. This usually not that, it doesn't take too long, but let's see what happens. Since it, it is on, that computer is controlling the transmission and the engine, it might take a little longer than the other ones. All right, guys, I'm gonna wait until it gets to the um, close to ending point. Once we get there, uh, I will continue the video. Okay, guys, so um, this one is actually taking longer than the usual. I believe it's because it's programming both of the um, engine and transmission at the same time. That could be the deal. And I wanna tell you guys how you can actually get access to this software. Basically, you will have to go to uh, Honda Tech Info or you could write, uh, I'm not exactly sure about the website. Um, you can just write Honda Tech Info on the um, Google and the page will come out on the first one. Just click on that um, and you can scroll down, get to the IHDA subscription. Just, uh, and buy the subscription, just follow the prompts and buy the one day subscription, which is about $45. And then once you purchase the subscription, on the bottom, it will show, it will show you a link uh to load the um the software or download the software to your computer and after that 
um, you will have to uh, it will start you know low, installing all the uh, software in your Waco and just make sure you know that it will take about between uh, an hour and a half to two hours okay to install the software only okay so right now everything as you see programming is completed tell me to turn ignition off no problem okay ignition is off and it will tell me to turn the ignition on within 60 seconds no problem ignition is back on and then let's see what it says all right so uh ecu programming is completed it will show you the um, previous calibration number and and the new calibration number in here and um basically i guess this update was for this particular two codes mm -hmm. but it could also um, fix some of the problems on the vehicle on the engine computer sometimes just the dealer doesn't get enough information about it and they just don't make an update for that all right so let's go ahead and exit and that is it guys that's how you do a um, software update um, on the Hondas thank you guys for watching sorry about that guys um, just had to do something um, so thank you guys for watching and you'll see you day